All right, we're still talking about multiplying fractions. And I'm going to make the point here that simplifying the fractions before you multiply can save a lot of time and effort. So look at this example, 7 over 24 times 12 over 21. Now remember the procedure for multiplying fractions is to multiply the numerators. 7 times 12, that gives me 84 and multiply the denominators, 24 times 21. What is that, 24 times 21? You could pull out a calculator or some scratch paper. I'll, um, let's pull up some scratch paper here. 24 times 21, let's see, one times four is four, one times two is two, put a zero, two times four is eight, and two times two is four, and we add this up, carry the one, 504. 24 times 21 is 504, so that's my denominator. Okay, now these are both even numbers, so they can both be divided by 2. So we'll divide by 2 on the top and divide by 2 on the bottom. And 84 divided by 2 is 42, and 504 divided by 2 is 252. And those are still even numbers, so I can divide them by 2 again. Um, 42 divided by 2 is 21, and 252 divided by 2 is 126. Okay, now the 21 is not, um, not an even number. I can't divide this by 2. But both of these numbers are divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 3. Now, what does this give me? 21 divided by 3 is 7. That's easy. 126 divided by 3. All right, let me come back to my scratch paper here. 126 divided by 3. Let's see, you got a 12 here. 4 times 3 is 12. Bring the 6 down, 2. So 42. So 7 over 42. And 42 is divisible by 7. If I divide the top and the bottom by 7, I get 1 over 6. Okay, now that was a lot of work. I had to do all of this, plus this work here I did on the scratch paper, just to get to the answer. What I'm going to show you now is a better way. Okay, so let's look at this same problem, and we'll do some simplifying before we do this multiplication. Now remember that you can take a number on the top and a number on the bottom and reduce your fraction. And you can do this across this multiplication sign too. This works. What I'm going to do here works as long as we are multiplying right here. You can't do this if this is added or subtracted. But see this 12 and this 24? That will reduce to a 1 and a 2. 12 over 24 is the same thing as 1 over 2. And this 7 and this 21 will reduce to a 1 and a 3. And look at that. Now just multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. And multiply the denominators right here. 2 times 3 gives you 6. Look at that. Same answer, of course. That was a lot faster and a lot easier and a lot fewer steps than all of this. And all of these steps we were doing up here, every single step, including the steps we had on the scratch paper there. Every single step we take is a potential place we could make a careless error. So if you can find a shortcut like this, it not, is not only faster, but it also tends to be a lot more accurate. So reducing the fractions before you multiply is the preferred approach. So here are four examples, and we'll do all of these by reducing the fractions before we do the multiplication. And in this first one, I notice that the 7 and the 28 are both multiples of 7. So let's divide both of those by 7, and I get a 1 there and a 4 there. And then I multiply. 5 times 1 is 5, and 4 times 8 is 32. And 5 over 32, that's my answer. Over here, let's see. I notice a 4 and a 6 are both divisible by 2. So let's divide each of those by 2. The 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that's about all I can do. 
Uh, 5 times 2 gives me 10, and 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, look at this next example. 63 over 100 times 10 over 9. We can reduce a lot here. 10 and 100, that stands out as pretty obvious, so let's do that. Those are both divisible by 10. That reduces to a 1 and a 10. But look, 9 and 63. 9 times 7 is 63, remember. So we can divide both of these by 9. 9 divided by 9 is just 1, and 63 divided by 9 is 7. So then I do the multiplication. 7 times 1 is 7, and 10 times 1 is 10. And notice we reduced this as much as possible. We reduced the 10 and the 100, and we reduced the 63 and the 9. If you reduce everything that can be reduced before you multiply, then when you multiply, your answer will already be simplified as much as possible. So that's, that's good. You don't have to do any more work to simplify this fraction. We'll do the same thing over here. Um, 12 11 times 55 over 24. The 12 and the 24, that reduces to a 1 over 2. And 11 and 55, that becomes a 1 and a 5. So then I multiply. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. 5 halves is my answer.